by the title of the video, you guys probably know that I'm going to be converting to LS coils on my six cylinder. Now, there's nothing wrong. Well, <laughs> there is something wrong with the stock coils. Dino, we found that they were a little unreliable. One of the issues we had is when we were checking plugs, we'd pull one of the coils and pull a plug and check things out, you know, put it back in, reinstall it, and the one time we did that, it started to um, have a rough idle and misfire. And so we went back, we uh, uh, loosen one, uh, reseated it, loosen another, reseated it, did a couple things to um, try and figure out what the issue was. And the problem with these coils is there's no real good way to know it's correctly seated. There's no clicking, no, no nothing like that. So I think a good solution to that problem is to convert to LS coils. I see a lot of people with these engines, they do that sort of things. Um, I'll post a picture of the, the one example. Um, and so um, the nice thing about an LS coil is it makes a nice audible click and they're probably higher energy. Um, I mean, I know these have the heat sinks on top, similar to an LS coil, but um, something I wanted to talk about is uh, LS coils, you know, that can mean a bunch of things. So I kind of wanted to go through, you know, the different types and uh, advantages and disadvantages. So, all right, so when people talk about LS coils, we, there's a couple things they can be referring to. This is a early LS1 coil and just to show you what it looks like. This is a early truck LS coil. Just to show you what that looks like. Now these roughly put out 40 milliamps of secondary current. And this is the later LS2 style coil. And this is the later truck coil. These put out roughly 120 milliamps of secondary current. So that's roughly three times the amount of current. Now, stuff that I consider when I'm selecting a coil is also the aesthetics. <laughs> uh, maybe a little, um, you know, the, the coil is there just to make sparks, but it's also nice to have a good looking coil. So. This is personally my favorite, the LS2 car style. Um, you could also find it on some trucks. Um, so this is what we're gonna use. All right guys, so I just wanted to elaborate on what I meant by clicking. And I'm hoping this will come up on camera, but you know, when I set one of the stack coils in, I'm gonna let you listen. There's no like audible click. It kind of does this spring thing versus an LS coil, which when you insert the lead on the plug, did you hear that? Let me do it again. One more time. All right, hopefully you heard that, but. So, yeah. Now that we have our coils selected, we gotta figure out a suitable way to lay them out. Some people like to lay them off to the side like that. Personally, I like them right down the center just cause I like, I like the way the symmetry. Um, I guess it isn't really symmetry, but 
I just like the way it looks when it's sitting down the middle. Um, so we just have to figure out how to place them so that they're not in the way when you're trying to pull plugs and they look aesthetically pleasing. So I think this is what I'm gonna end up with. Basically mount the coils over top of the plug with a hole. And then when you want to service them, you'll have to take them off. And I think this is the best mix of aesthetically pleasing and ease of use. So, just going to make a bracket. Alright guys, so you'll notice I have a, a bracket that I made. That's the coils real nice. Um, so yeah, I actually uh, originally made this piece for uh, the intake manifold, but um, it's a little thin and uh, needs something a little heavier, so I threw it on the scrap pile and I was able to use it here, so made a whole bunch of um, threaded spacers and there we go. So the next challenge I gotta deal with is You'll notice the six cylinder coil plugs only have three pins, whereas the LS have four pins. So, what I'm hoping I can do, which I've already started, um, here is an LS plug, and you'll notice I've taken the pins out. What I'm hoping is the pins are the same on the six cylinder plug and then I can just pin them in and then splice into my ground for the because uh, the extra pin is a signal ground so I'm hoping I can splice into that and hopefully it all is the same and it all works so wish me luck alright so that worked um, you can see I got all my pins in and uh, so that means that I just need to splice in this guy and we're gonna be flying, uh, we'll be golden. So, yeah, pretty cool. All right, so I got my fourth wire spliced in and all my wires run to my coil, or to my spark plugs. And uh, about to go for my first start, so. success um, yeah so uh, going from that to that all right see you guys in the next one